Welcome. Another vacation spot? There is something familiar about this place. One of the sins is nearby. He and I have unfinished business. Wrath is here? Not for long. Good thing he's over there. Friend of yours? I doubt it. Rhetorical question. I know you have no friends. Though you do have enemies. I don't think it's aiming for me, mistress! If it wasn't so gaudy, it would be quite nice. Another foolish demon building a temple to himself. All hail the conquerors. Cycle continues. This goes on forever. Clearly, someone's compensating. Did you just make a joke? on forever. <sighs> Clearly someone's compensating. Did you just make a joke? This is bad. Even, dare I say, with apologies, stupid mistress. What are you so afraid of? It looks to be another would-be demon conqueror. Uh-uh-uh, not would-be, will. Easy, milady. There's no need for steel or whips. <sighs> another demon with a mysterious agenda. Do you know Volgrim? I believe you two would get along. <laughs> no, milady. Where Volgrim deals in trash, Abraxas trades in class. Ah, my reputation precedes me, I see. <laughs> it does. Someone wants you dead. Ah, they can get in line. The meek always envy the strong. Isn't that right, Water? <sighs> Lovely, but the Lord of Hollows seems to think you're a meddler. You've seen the traitor? Where? Matters not. What matters is that he wants you dead, and I want to know why. You're a clever woman. It takes but one eye and half an ear to tell, so... I'll give it to you straight. That will be the home of a very, very important demon. Someone who will win this war once and for all. And I will stand by his side. The traitor doesn't like that. The traitor fears change. <laughs> Better the devil you know and all that. And what of the traitor? What does the Lord of Hollows want? Sometimes the birds win. Sometimes the bats. Bats. But the traitor... The traitor wants more. The false lord would be a false god. He would hollow this planet as he hollows souls. That is his... becoming. He sits you against me because he knows that when my lord is installed, the Braxis will find the traitor and pull the organs from his backside for what he's done. Malady's job is to keep order. The Lord of Hollows believes he is order. If the lady is as the lady does, she should kill the traitor soon, before he rises. But if you're going to surprise me, please get on with it. I have an empire to build.
Fine. I believe you speak true, Abraxas. What I've seen of this traitor vexes me. His hollowing is unnatural and defies the balance of things. Wonderful. The lady shows exceptional judgment. You are welcome in my master's house any time. And what is your master's name, Abraxas? Ho ho ho. That is a trade secret, even for one as precious as you. But when he comes, you will know him by his title, the Destroyer. Swing by in a decade or three. The place is going to be gorgeous. Bastards never stood a chance, did they? Who? Earthlings. Of any species. Perhaps you can light the way with your scintillating personality. If so, do it quietly. I don't think we're alone. Mistress, your talisman. We're close. This time you watch. You do not speak. Your day of reckoning is at hand, Sloth. You will be judged in combat like all the others. Darling, please. Do I look like I'll be fighting anything or anyone anytime soon? You have no choice. There's always a choice, darling. I choose not to choose. Too much of a bother. I'd laugh at you, but it's too much effort. Don't take offense, you'll play your part well in our wee morality play. But really, why bother? It's the apocalypse. Whoa, I'm completely over it. My sole concern is comfort. That sounds familiar. Mouth! And as you can see, I have my many minions for that. <laughs> it's all they live for. You should try it. I've got you a few slaves if you'll just relax. I shall, once you and your kin lie dead. I only hope the rest put up more of a fight than you. <laughs> Let them stand or fall. It matters not to me. You understand, don't you, horseman? The futility of it. Why not join me? Take a load off and enjoy the nothingness. I bet you take to it quite easily. Would you abandon your mission? No. <laughs> Is that so? The Great Fury would not allow herself to fall prey to such a creature. Are you truly up to the task? Yeah. 
But even the most grueling fight is less tiring than taking no action at all. Most exercise he's had in a millennium. of brave fury have reached Targon's ears. He desires an audience. Then go perform for him. You're entertaining, in a lowbrow sort of way. But I'm not the mightiest horseman in all the realm, you fiery flatterer. for all the humans you've sent my way. Let me uh, boost that little trinket I gave you. You seem different, mistress. Even if we stop the Seven, this world will be torn apart. For what? There will be a reckoning. I'm just not sure from where it will come. themselves lost at times. This is the burden of living. This new self-awareness you possess. So, I can be certain of nothing, is that what you're saying? I am merely saying this. The Council chose you to undertake this mission. You, and you alone. They did this for a reason. They believe, as I do, that you possess greater power than even you realize. For 
all of their achievements, humans were outmatched in the apocalypse. Their civilization is now mere fodder for demons. They truly were a pathetic species. But there are shades of intelligence in their monuments. Have the humans grown on you, mistress? Hardly. I pity their hubris. They believed they could control this world's destiny. Still, these towers are impressively ambitious. As if they were reaching upwards, looking for purpose in the heavens. What irony they were consumed by hell. Indeed. Mistress, it's another of the Chosen. How can you tell? A void hangs around them. Can't you feel it? Unlike anything else, the absence of the Creator's hand. Look there. Mm, do you feel that? The vibrations of power that emanate from it. No, but feeling isn't my strong suit. That said, I would recommend avoiding it. Why? If I may be blunt, what brews within is not part of your mission. Interesting. 